is my entire luxury shoe collection. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Leslie. We talk about all things luxury shopping and handbags. If you love those things, make sure to subscribe, hit that bell notification. I do post videos every week. So I don't think I've ever done an entire designer shoe collection. And I feel like I talk about bags mainly on this channel or like mainly on like most of my socials, let's be honest. And while I am still like primarily a bag girl, I actually get a lot of shoes too, but most of them aren't like luxury designer shoes i feel like it's just hard for me to justify spending you know thousand dollars on a pair of shoes that are really only going to be worn a few times and they also just like don't have the best resale value because like you've already worn them you know like bags i get it like sometimes even if you only use it a few times it still looks in very pristine condition shoes as soon as you leave your house they're gone. So um, these are all the shoes that I have. I'm going to walk you guys through like my thought process, whether I think it's worth it, all of it. Starting with, I want to say these are my first pair of designer shoes. These are the Hermes Oasis. I actually went into Hermes looking for the Oran sandals and um, I tried them both on and I actually preferred the Oasis. I do have wider feet and I'm also 4'11", so you know, we can take a little bit of the extra height. Um, and I actually preferred these over the Orans. I felt like these were more comfortable and I do wear these quite a bit. I definitely have considered getting them in other colors. Um, but yeah, I think that these are pretty comfortable. I would purchase these again. And that says a lot because I do have some shoes that I would not purchase again. I think my second most worn pair of shoes are the Dior D-Way Slide. I have a hard time justifying the price for these because tell me why these shoes, Dior, is gonna be more expensive than Hermes. Like the math is not mathing here. Um, but I do like these shoes. I do find that they're pretty hard to style depending on like what you're wearing. And like, I feel like I have to pick and choose what bag to use with these shoes because these already have a logo on them, right? And so I feel like I have to be a little bit more careful as to which bag I'm using and I want to steer away from using another canvas, another logo bag because the shoes already have logos. Um, so that's probably my only critique with these shoes other than the price of them. But I feel like for how much I've worn them and like I think I've had them for almost two years now, they're really not that bad. I did get them on sale. Um, I think through Bloomingdale's, I forgot what it was. Um, but they, they did have a sale going on at a certain point where they were like 15% off or something like that. So I didn't pay full price for them. But um, I think for a pair of shoes, they're very expensive. They're not the most comfortable. I, I would say most of these shoes are not very comfortable. Like I wouldn't be like, oh my God, these are the most comfortable shoes I own. Um, ironically, it's usually the cheaper shoes. Like my Target shoes are actually pretty comfortable. Um, but yeah, these are fine. Um, I do like them. I don't regret buying them. I will have to think twice if like, God forbid, I lost these or whatever and I have to buy new ones. I don't know that I would buy them unless they were on sale or I got them in Europe. It's just a really steep price to pay for a pair of, you know, shoes that have a logo on them. Okay, let's just move on to the Jimmy Choo collection, if you will. I have four pairs of Jimmy Choo's. Clearly, I'm a Jimmy Choo fan. So let's start with the probably like the least comfortable to the most comfortable. So these are the Jimmy Choo Sedas. Um, I actually picked these up for all of my like wedding festivities, bridal festivities. And I wore these for an engagement shoot for like, I don't know, 10 minutes, 15 minutes. And something about the strap just like pinches on my skin. If it's too tight, then it really like cuts off the circulation. But then if they're too loose, then I feel like my feet just feel like they're falling out of the shoes. Just not the best experience. They are beautiful. Like the glitter is absolutely stunning. And I do think I want a pair of closed toed shoes as wedding shoes, but in general, not the most comfortable. Would probably not recommend for like $1,100. My Jimmy Choo Aveline's, another pair of shoes I literally have not worn. Um, honestly, it's a little embarrassing at this point. I do wish that there were two bows in the back instead of one bow in the back and one bow in the front. And I think I may 
like a TikTok on this maybe I don't remember but I did say this recently and I feel like the reason why I don't wear these is because it's like I'm risking my safety for these shoes okay like my toe gets caught in the front bow and then I just like you just fall over it's just not the most stable pair of shoes and it's interesting because I do have other pairs of Jimmy Choo's that I like the next two pairs of Jimmy Choo's I absolutely love and I wear them all the time and so these two I swear are like the rare occasion like I wouldn't have four pairs of Jimmy Choo's if I hated all of them um I don't have the heart to get rid of these because I do really like how they look and I sometimes sometimes, sometimes I just think like maybe one day I'm gonna wear these Maybe that day will come, maybe it won't. But um, I do really like the look of these. I just wish I didn't have to risk my safety for a pair of shoes. Moving on to another pair of Jimmy Choo's. These are the Bing 100s. These are in the, I wanna say this is like either velvet or suede, I forgot. Um, and they are kind of dusty right now, but these are one of my favorites. These are so, so comfortable. I got these for a wedding. Um, did I really need to buy like I think I got these on sale but even then like $800 pair of shoes for a friend's wedding not even my own wedding like a friend's wedding probably not but I have no regrets with these shoes these are so comfortable I was dancing in these I didn't take them off until probably like the last 30 minutes of the wedding which says a lot about these shoes i love 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 how they look i love the pearl detailing against kind of like the crystal here um and all most of the other jimmy shoes that aren't in these like suede or velvet material whatever this material is they're just the crystal so you can actually customize a pair of jimmy shoes which is probably the route that i'm going to take for my wedding shoes i haven't decided yet because i do have quite a few pair of wedding shoe contenders so it's kind of like do i want to take that extra splurge or do i want to just wear a pair of wedding shoes that i already have in my closet I don't know um but i do really like that you can customize these i think the velvet the suede whatever this material is makes it very comfortable it, it is a lot more comfortable for wider feet compared to the jimmy shoe sedas maybe it's the lack of stretch i don't know um but i do really really like these the only critique that i do have when i was wearing them to the wedding i didn't have this issue with any other times that i wore these shoes it was really just with the long dresses the crystals here did snag um on the like the end of the dress the thread of the dress um but that's probably my only critique any other time that i've worn these i haven't had any issues and i do feel like because uh, the two like probably biggest pain points that i have with shoes in general is either like right here on the width because i do have wider feet and in the back of the heel and so having both of those like not give me any issues i was honestly so impressed and i was like okay i really like these enough to even potentially customize these and make these my wedding shoes and last but certainly not least for jimmy choo my most worn pair of shoes are the jimmy choo maylees i believe these are now discontinued i want to say like i couldn't find them on the website anymore um and i wear these probably four out of the five times i leave my house um these are just so comfortable they match with every single outfit i'm glad i got them in white i honestly considered like hey maybe i should get them in another color too but we withheld you can tell by the bottom as to like how much i've worn these shoes um uh, these are just a staple i wear these all the time i love the sensible heel height i don't feel like i'm risking my safety and similar with the jimmy choo bing 100s i don't have any like rubbing against the back of my heel that causes any kind of discomfort um i i really don't have enough good things to say about these shoes i should probably get them like maybe cleaned up a little bit i don't know they do look a little bit they don't look they don't look its best but um i do really like these i don't have any regrets getting these and these are also the cheapest pair of jimmy choos i think these were like 500 dollars um compared to all the other ones that are like around eight to a thousand dollars so maybe cheaper is the way to go moving on to my amina mawadis i 
did not expect I was gonna like these so much. I'm gonna be honest, I thought the heel was a little bit funky. This is what the heel looks like. You've all seen me in Mina Um, And I, I, I really, really like these. And I think this is just so different than all the other shoes that I have. Every other pair of shoes I have are like neutral colors. Um, and I feel like the pink, number one, we're kind of in a Barbie phase these days. Um, I feel like the pink is great. It's a nice pop of color and they're just really comfortable. Um, I, again, we don't have any kind of like issues with the back of the heel. I just really, really like these. I like how you can dress them up. Um, and you can also just like incorporate them into a more casual outfit, like jeans and a cute top with these shoes perfect. You're good to go. My next pair of shoes are the Chloe Betty boots. Um, I got these on Farfetch just before I went to Europe this like the most recent time I went to Europe and I actually wore these quite a bit um, but they are very clunky and I will say though they are very waterproof. It was snowing, it was raining in Europe, didn't have any issues. I also didn't slip on anything, which I think is really important. Um, but they are just so, so heavy. And um, apparently this might be the way I walk, but I thought this was a shoe problem. Um, it did like rub against the other shoe for this. I really liked these. I think that these are probably the most practical, besides these and the Dior slides, these are probably the most practical shoes out of all of them. However, I just don't know that I can justify paying $500 for a pair of rain boots when I live in California. If I lived somewhere else, if I lived in New York, if I lived somewhere where like Seattle, I don't know, where it snows or rains, I think it's a lot easier to justify spending this amount of money on a pair of rain boots. But I wore these more in Europe than I've ever worn living here in California. And I had these for probably like 10 months now. Um, these will continue to stay in my collection. I will continue to wear them, but it's hard to justify spending this amount of money on a pair of rain boots if you don't live in an area that rains all too much. Last but certainly not least, we have the Colt Gaia Renee sandal. Colt Gaia is kind of in that like mix. Is it luxury designer? Is it contemporary designer? I don't know, but I'm gonna throw these in here because these were such a huge disappointment that I'm gonna talk about it. So starting off, I got these shoes because I loved the heel. Like tell me this is not so cool. These are probably one of my most complimented pair of shoes aside from the Jimmy Choo Bing 100s. I actually wore those and a grandma complimented me and I was like oh, okay like thank you. Um, but these I wore to a wedding and I actually only wore these I wore these once and I noticed, started noticing the wear and tear, which is honestly so sad, but I did wear these to a wedding and these were like a lot of the guys surprisingly really complimented me on these shoes. And these were around like $500. 550 something like that but I think that probably the most disappointing thing was the quality like parts of the shoe were already peeling um and it just didn't feel like I was paying $500 for a pair of shoes the Jimmy Choo's were also $500 I wear those all the time and I haven't had any quality with issues with these shoes versus these ones they're not looking so hot after maybe two times of wear overall just a really disappointing shoe and I've had heard other people have like quality issues with Colt Gaia too so maybe it's not just the shoe maybe it's the brand in general but it, it just was not worth the price for me and then now I think it was um Jeffrey Campbell has very similar shoes so had I had known and had Jeffrey Campbell come out with them before I bought these for that wedding, I definitely would have purchased the Jeffrey Campbell instead over these ones. Okay, that sums that up for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I hope this was helpful for you. Let me know in the comments if you think the designer shoes are worth the splurge. Are you mainly a handbag girly? Are you a shoe girly? Let me know in the comments. Um, I will leave another video for you guys here and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.